Untitled and Dispossessed, a mapping project of one highway intersection in Santa Cruz, California, tells the story of how the property-less, those without leases or titles to land, disproportionately black, brown, and indigenous people are reduced to waste and effectively dispossessed of houses, dignity, and humanity. Against a backdrop of pandemic, wildfire, and other climate disaster, people are swept from one place to another. We're well aware of, of the COVID restrictions, uh -huh. and we've made a conscious decision to as a city mm -hmm. to close this park resort. Okay, so you're gonna displace all these people and send them out to, into Santa Cruz for so COVID safety? They, they, can, they can choose to continue to keep spaced apart wherever they are. But where and is I, it that they're gonna go? You know, I'm not sure they're gonna to have to figure that out. So and that's and From the 1960s to today, pack your trash has been used to justify anti-homeless rhetoric and 1984's troll busting is evoked regularly on social media. Policing and vigilantism collapse waste and racialized bodies in expressions of eco-fascism built on colonial legacies of white supremacy in one of the most expensive cities in the US where original indigenous inhabitants cannot afford to live even nearby. Many take refuge in one of the few places unlikely to be swept in the near future, the Caltrans Highway Verges at the entrance to Santa Cruz. Environmental waste, including highway pollution, noise, and light industry smog and particulate matter, is endemic here. People living outside are experiencing climate catastrophe now, with more dry spells punctuated by atmospheric rivers and wind events that down tents and destroy survival gear. The city's waste mismanagement practices produce geographies of organized abandonment. Sympathetic community members and mutual aid groups help, but scarce toilets, laundry, and trash pickup lead to waste, rats, and creative but unsustainable solutions. Without support to clean, repair, or replace the damage, we are left with zones of abandonment. We tell this story of stories through conversations, sound clips, documentary photos, drawings, GIS mapping, and political analysis in order to imagine and begin to realize an emancipatory future.